Okay, sorry about that. I needed to answer the phone. Um, but anyway, um, I just find that my ones I order directly from David Austin or that I buy at Home Depot just seem to thrive better. Um, every one that I've gotten from Erling the last three or four years has just not performed to me for what they're charging. Um, and that's what a lot of these are. I got these from Erling. I mean, we'll see how they do, but some of these I've had a year, two years, and, and again, they look better in the spring for sure in the fall, but even with that, I don't feel like they just don't look as vigorous to me as the ones I order that are bare root from David Austin. And I know they say it takes three or four years for own roots to get established. I'm like, I understand that, but I've got some that are that old and I ended up pitching them earlier this year because they just, they were not healthy. And like this one I've had four years and you know, I, I don't, I mean, I just don't feel like it's that great considering I've had it this long. So, um, I, you know, I don't know. Um, which is fine because as much as I love roses, I think next year I'm going to do probably more shrubs and evergreens and then mix in, you know, more of my hummingbird mint and my annuals. But anyway, getting back to this pot, um, again, the roses hopefully will hang in there somehow. There is some type of purple salvia that I did not plant. I have no idea where that came from. It seemingly sprung out of nowhere. Um as well as the, the blue Chinese forget-me-nots I think are from some wildflower seed last year, but the pink salvia, and again, I don't want to get stung, so I'm not going to put my hand in there to check the tag, but this pink salvia is putting on a show now, and it looks really pretty against those colors with it, so that's nice. Um, let's see, and again, there's more David Austin roses here, which they look really pretty in the spring. I just wish the bushes were more vigorous. And again, I believe these are all, I don't know, not all of them are, I don't know, maybe it's me and, and not whatever. I just, maybe I need to feed them more regularly or something, um, but you know, you don't want to overdo it either. Anyway, uh, but the heat for sure takes its toll. They definitely look lusher in the spring and the fall, but I just see other people growing David Austin roses in containers and mine look like wimps compared to that. So, but again, maybe they have some sort of secret fertilizing program that I don't know about. Um, but anyway, my, um, one of my summer fit hibiscus, I forget which variety is, but it's hot pink. I got it last year, late in the summer. Um, it just finished having a ton of blooms and it was gorgeous. Um, this is the first full summer I've had it, so we'll see. I do like that these eventually shed their blooms, so I don't necessarily have to deadhead them. Got some more wildflower seed coming up here that I just planted. Um, this is also nice. We've got some lavender. There's some goldenrod toward the back. Some more varieties of hummingbird mint. Uh, this was sort of a test pot, if you will. Um, because these are all new varieties I don't think I've ever grown so and again the tags I have all of them so I can assess you know come fall um, I forget the official name of these many of you probably know I call them rooster tails but this hot pink um, oh my gosh it is gorgeous I wish now I got more and I went back to Home Depot the other day and of course they were all gone but that is going to be definitely more of those next year. I hope they'll have them in the big pots like that. That nice size already established. Uh, this lantana was struggling from Lowe's, but it is making a comeback now. So with my lantana historically does not do well until August, September, October for me. And I don't, maybe it's the pattern of not how much sunlight they get. Because this is a challenge, you know, with all these trees here. But they, there are periods of sun, and since I had a limb chopped off that tree directly across from us, there's a lot more sun out here now. Um, that's made a big difference for me this year. So, that's been good. Um, Alright. So, let's go over here now. Actually, we'll go over here. and Again, pardon the mess. So... <laughs> trying to do some organic weed control which I do have a landscaping 
material, tarp, whatever you call it, um, that came today. So we'll be putting that down later this week and we're gonna kind of landscape this area. I'm gonna just leave the cardboard and then we'll put the tarp over it because that will eventually break down anyway. Um, and the ground's very hard here. So we may put some things in the ground but a lot of things I'm just going to leave in containers. I've got some faux whiskey barrels, you know, to put them in. And um, right now it looks terrible, but hopefully when we're done and we get it mulched or pine strawed, you know, hopefully in a year or two from now, this is going to look amazing. So a lot of these perennials you probably recognize from different gardening videos and shows. Uh, I've gotten some evergreens. I'm very excited about that. Actually, I'm excited about all of them. And I've got three more, two more evergreens ordered and another shrub that I just saw on somebody's YouTube channel. Um, this is called a purely purple crepe myrtle. Um, there was one in bloom at Home Depot and I was just like, oh my gosh. Plus, I just love, look at this color. So hopefully we're going to get this in a big pot or in the ground because this will get big. But you can see there's new growth coming up, so that's good. But hopefully um, you, know, you can kind of get an idea of the vision, I call it. Um, you know, when we get these evergreens filling in, then it's going to block out this weedy mess that the neighboring HOA has let go uh, badly. And that encroaches onto my side of the fence. But anyway. All right, and obviously this is another area I've got stuff to do with, and I have thoughts, but again, that might be a, that's probably gonna be a next year project. Um, but you know we've got good stuff going on. We've got some roses again. Everybody's struggling in the heat, um, but they will make a comeback in another probably six to eight weeks. Um, we've got some wildflowers. It looks like weeds, but they're not. We've got wildflowers coming up in some of these. Um, I blew boa hummingbird mint there. Um, again, pardon our trash. Um, I had some deliveries today, so we got to recycle the cardboard. And then this is my fake it till you make it garden. So again, you know, all this land anywhere in Georgia with the red clay, um, you know, if it's not already been landscaped um, in a subdivision or something, it's hard to dig. Um, and the previous owners there was concrete here you know I have gravel now but it's just it's a very hard area to dig without going to the expense of hiring professional help so for this year anyway you know who knows in the future but for now this is my fake it till you make it and I just try to group everything closely without hopefully overcrowding it so there's still good air circulation um, and I don't know that video does it justice but it actually looks pretty decent in person um, some of these were pre-made containers from Home Depot. Some of these, like I did myself. And I've got another shrub in here. These little sunflowers are finally making a comeback. They were struggling right after I brought them home. My little petunia uh, sitting on the barrel for height and interest. Um, this is some type of a variety of sunflower. I forget what it's called, but it's supposed to be like everybody has them and they look beautiful. And I finally got my hands on some. I couldn't find any. And I got these and they have yet to bloom. So I, I don't know what the story is with those. Um, I'm that, kind of disappointed about that. But maybe they'll bloom in the fall. We'll see. I, I, I don't know. Because when I bought them, they were blooming like in October. Um, but we'll see. Some dragon's breath. I was thrilled to find this. I could not find it anywhere last year. Um, I will definitely would like to get you know, more next year. It's a great annual and it looks pretty, I think, in the summer and the fall. My blue fortune has gone berserk. Um, again, I've got some more orange hummingbird mint. My lantana pot is getting ready to reload, thank goodness. Uh, the blue fortune has been insane over here. I mean, it's just been like lush um, for sure that is a performer for me my um, Molly butterfly bush is reloading right now I just deadheaded her but I've got to deadhead her again a little bit so we'll have another nice flush soon so anyway so that's kind of what's happening um, in the garden again really nice to be out today and um, 
hopefully we're going to continue to have a lot of color and blooms you know well into october at least so we shall see but anyway uh have a great day and uh, get in your garden take care everybody